All right. So again, uh, hello, welcome to the Zoom talk. So this is whole and complete. In that sense is everything. There isn't any deeper reality or any mystical reality or any spiritual reality. There's just what seems to be happening. And its natural condition is, so to speak, that it's whole and complete. This is everything. The impression to be separate from wholeness, the impression to have been kicked out of paradise or something, is part of a dream. And the dream is, I am, I exist. That's the impression to be separate. That's the impression to, to be an, an own something, to be something that's real. And part of that impression is the sense that something has been lost. That's just how it feels, uh, subtly, so to speak. It doesn't have to be painfully in the foreground. It can be, but it doesn't have to be like that. There's just this subtle assumption that this isn't it, then that something will still happen. The actual thing will still happen when my life really starts, when I'm finally courageous enough to follow my dreams, when I finally become, of course, enlightened, liberated, all those huge ideas. But I think for most people, it's just the subtle assumption, uh, the subtle assumption that something will still come that's slightly more fulfilling, better. What it's actually about, what all my efforts were about. However, this impression is part of the dream. It just belongs to that impression to be a, a me. It, they just go together. You will, you will never find a me without that impression so to speak. And usually in the person's life is about finding an answer to this longing, finding an answer to this longing for wholeness, to this seemingly deep longing to become finally whole and complete again. And the question usually is, what should I do? How should I be? What's the path to fulfillment? What's the path? What we talk about here isn't another path. I don't have any ideas about uh, how you should be or how anyone should be to become fulfilled. What this talks about is that this I, this whole reality that I was just describing, doesn't have any reality at all in the first place. I am, amness, beingness is illusory. There isn't anything that's being. There isn't anything that's existing as something. This I is trend. And all its experiences, all its impressions are dreamt as well. So that's the good news. Nothing has been lost. What happens, what seems to be happening is paradise. This is whole and complete. It'll never become more whole and complete. It's an impossibility. It's this, this is all there is. It can't be taught, it can't be achieved because there is no one and nothing separate from it. Okay, uh, some speakers speak about beingness. I think it's not about beingness. And can you say something about this, uh, that? Oh, well, it depends on what they mean, but as far as this is concerned, there is no beingness. There is no experience of beingness. I mean, except that there's just those words which don't mean anything. Oneness, wholeness, beingness. But well, there's no experience of that. And my impression is that's what most teachers refer to when they talk about beingness this seemingly neutral sense of existence. And then they say, that's all there is. There's just beingness. Well, this is the dream in the end. Okay, can the illusion reincarnate? Oh, uh, no, because there is no illusion uh, again. Oh no, there is no illusion in the first place. 
when I say there is no I, this means that there is no illusion. That exactly is the illusion, that there is a separate something, however you call it, the me, the me illusion. There is no one living within our bodies. There's also no illusion living in these bodies. You know, that's how, the, how it would feel for the person. There is something in this body, something that has an autonomous existence, no matter if you call it an I or an illusion of I. There's no one in there. There is nothing at all in there that has any kind of substance. No spirit, no, no illusion, no self. It's not there. Then what is seeking? If there's no one or nothing there, what is seeking? Who's the, who is seeking? Well, there is no answer to that. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hi, Andreas. Hello. Oh, good. You can hear me. Um, what, what, what do you say? I know you're not there, but anyway, what would you say separation is? Well, that's impossible to say because there is no separation. You can't well, know when what the... separation is in the same way you can't know why there is seeking because there is no separation and there is no seeking. Yeah, but the, there's the me creates separation. No, very rarely would it it, 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 it only knows separation unless yeah, it's in a glimpse. The, illusion, the knowing of itself and the knowing of separation <laughs> doesn't really happen. That's why we call it an illusion. It never creates separation. It never what creates separation? No, nothing. Is there is no separation. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, well, for the me, there's separation. It almost feels like you have to have separation to function around in this place. Yeah, that's how it feels, apparently, <laughs> for the person. That yeah, it functions I... in a separate world, but it doesn't. There is no separate know. world, and there is no I functioning know. in the world. I know. Yeah, I, I mean, I just it, it, try to get to that place, and I know it's not a place, but I'm not there no, yet. Yeah, above all, there is no you. <laughs> you is dreamt. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, hot and cold. Thank you. Thank it you. would be the complete end of the person to fall completely in love with yeah, everyone. Yes, exactly. It wants to survive in, to own it. And that's why, kind of when we say, well, I don't know if we say it, but some speakers say that there could be a real longing for the, there could be a longing for whatever this, for this, without the need for it to become whatever. But that longing has nothing well i don't even know if i'd say i have a longing exactly oh that longing too is what seems to be happening it's not personal as the illusion to be a person isn't personal really but that's just how it feels there can be this deep uh, spiritual romantic longing for wholeness that's just but yeah but the romantic longing is all about the idea of me getting something in the end. Absolutely. Oh, totally. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Me, me being in love with everything or whatever. Me but... becoming whole and complete. Me becoming perfect love. Being perfectly love. This idea of goodness where everything is really, really good for me within my experience. as something that I can consciously know and be aware of and own it oh yeah so what it we collapses it just collapses without a being answered so what i know i'm asking the most basic thing but what we talk about here is death yes 
whatever that is. But <laughs> well, that's the that's the problem is because when there's no one there, no one would know what death is. But yeah, exactly. I, I death, death is another idea within the illusion of life. Yeah, because I have a picture of what I think I know death would be. Exactly. Which starts with I'm here now, and then I wouldn't be, and then that you know would be a problem somehow or whatever. But mm. yeah. So there's just no death. Yeah, there's no life, there's no death. And the longing that the person lives in has nothing to do with liberation in that sense. Liberation is not the fulfillment of that longing of being a fulfilled me. There's no connection. Thank you, Andreas. Thank you. It's just two different worlds, apparently. The me living in its dream and uh, living in its dreams, hopes and stuff like that. Um, Dario. Hi, Andreas. Hello. So, so I keep coming back to these meetings and um, I, yeah, there's, there's always the idea that, that I will get something or I, something will happen. Yeah. You said like that, that, that I get the courage to live my dreams finally. Like I, all my life I've been waiting for something to happen so that I can finally. <laughs> exactly. Do for the, the breakthrough until I can yeah. finally be without what seems to block me from 100% being, from total beingness. Yeah, that's how but it, in a way it, it is that. No? Something it is. Holds, holds, holds me back. Wholeness is total being, no? Well, this is whole and complete. These are the 100%. It'll never be more than this. But that's just how it feels in the personal world, as if I'm not living totally, as if I'm as if something holds me back and I need to achieve this totality. Hmm. But that will never happen. Because it's looking for totality within an experience. It's looking for a real totality within a real world. And there is nothing real in an unreal world, so to speak. But as you say, well, if I'm not scared anymore, if I'm courageous enough to follow my dreams, then I'll be, then it'll be full and total. But in that sense, in this world, there is no fullness, no experience of fullness, fullness in terms of what the me is looking for. Mm. There's one other thing. There's also the story that um, somehow my me is <laughs> so um, entangled that it's very difficult for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so deeply in the dream. I'm so yeah, entangled. Yeah. There is. A, oh, no. No, there's just a sense of me. And that's it. It's not yeah. deeply entangled. And it cannot, it cannot unravel itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is no one deeply lost in being a me, or it could just boop, collapse without any path, without any process, without any itself understanding itself, without any peeling the onion or whatever ideas are around. So hard to, to believe that. Impossible to believe that. Because I don't say it's easy for you. It's, it's impossible for the me to go beyond itself or to see through itself. And there's nothing I can do. There is no you. Mm. It's this. Mm. All right. <laughs> Fair Did enough. you completely stop all practices at the end? Practices? Yeah. Any any anything that you had remaining from the spiritual. But when oh. you had your last, when you were fading out. Well, attention is the person's practice to live in attention. And of course, this collapses together with I am. 
Oh, so in just in regular life, even living in attention. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, of course. That's the spiritual practice of the person to experience, to be aware, to throw its attention onto something. Could be the TV, to be entertained, or could be reading the newspaper to get some information for the person that's all a game and a game with attention. And that's its method. Sitting down in front of a TV in the evening is a spiritual practice in that sense. Well, for the person, yes. Yeah. It has an experience of it and it wants something back. Entertainment, distraction, whatever. And of course, here in my story, there was less and less this official practicing and stuff. Or yes. Every morning I sit down for 10 minutes and breathe. What can be wrong with that? Oh, yeah, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. But this was just fading out. And of course, in the end, when the person collapsed, as I said, this whole play with attention just wasn't there anymore. Practice becomes impossible or the illusion of practice. Well, that's a, a, I see this as pure innocence. Well, yeah, everything is innocent. Well, every flower, every word that's being spoken, every happening is just exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, everything. Everything just is what it is. Nothing hides itself because it's afraid of being itself. And that's the natural reality. Can't be achieved because it's already not otherwise. It's this. This is the total, the totality, which doesn't pretend to be something else. Us sitting in front of our screens doesn't pretend to be something else than what it is. It doesn't try to be clear or enlightened or it doesn't pretend to be part of a path. It's just exactly what it is without even experiencing itself, <clears throat> without having any knowledge about itself in terms of what it is and if it is. And it doesn't matter, it's natural, it's normal, it's not crazy in that sense. It's, that's the natural reality. This not, this being itself for no one. That's it, there's nothing special about it. All right, so that's it. There's no message, there's no teaching. All ideas about teaching, knowing, knowledge are, would be part of that dream, but there is no dream. There's just this. There's just what seems to be happening. Thank you very much for joining. I wish you a lovely day. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. That was great. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks, Andres. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Have you. a nice day. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. Andres. Bye. Thanks.